Hello everyone and welcome to my walkthrough of New Super Luigi U. This game is basically a modification of the original New Super Mario Bros. U. As a matter of fact, the downloadable version can't even function without having New Super Mario Bros. U. So that should give you an idea as to how this game is, plays, and what it's going to be like overall. So anyway, let's start a new save file here and get this started. Don't worry, I assure you things are different in comparison to the original game, specifically the levels. All the levels are different, but a lot of things in it are very, very similar, like this intro here. As you can tell, Mario's not there, but his hat is. Why his hat is there, but he's not, I don't know, maybe he left it behind and they missed Mario, so I put his hat at the table so he'd be with them in spirit. I, that's, I don't know, that's a good, my only explanation at the moment. Anyway, here comes the hand of God. And oh, 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 gotta make sure Peach is out of the way before smashing them. <laughs> and once again, Peach is in trouble. Who would have guessed? But as you can tell, this intro is pretty much the same overall as it is in the original game. And that's where one of the similarities to the original game is, you know, the storyline. Uh, there are other, other similarities to it as well, like the worlds, uh, the overworld, I think, is completely unchanged. So you'll pretty much know where the secret exits and stuff are if you've played the original game and stuff like that. Anyway, we gotta go rescue the princess once again. We are so used to doing this by now, aren't we? <laughs> but we're gonna 100% things along the way, because it is fun to do so. I like the challenge of it. And I feel this is a little bit dragged out here. It's like it takes a while for him to get to the castle, and he kind of has a repetitive laugh along the way. I just I just felt that was a little bit too dragged out at that moment, but that's okay. It's just the beginning of the game. And here comes Kamek plopping boom boom on the tower, just like New Super Mario Brothers. You everything is very similar, very familiar. So, you should probably know how this works, but there's a catch in the levels. Let's start Acorn Plains 1, Waddling Warning, and see what it is. The catch is that there's 100 seconds per level! <laughs> yeah, it's a very fast-paced, frantic game, so you gotta be on your toes while searching for secrets. Don't dilly-dally, don't, don't mess around too much. Just go on ahead, collect star coins, there's three per level. You gotta get them all if you want to 100% this game, as well as finding all the secret exits. So be mindful of that. And since you're rushing along the way as well, it's rather easy to run into stuff as well. So that kind of increases the difficulty uh, if you are, uh, if you're being reckless with certain things. And remember, gotta remember the last coin is, there it is, voila. First level is already complete. Yep, they are indeed that quick because, well, you've only got 100 seconds to complete them. They are short but sweet levels, basically. While I wouldn't say they're groundbreaking in terms of having brand new gameplay per se, it's a fun little gimmick that I think is worth playing through. Acorn Plains 2, Crooked Cavern, let's start! Uh, there's a secret exit in this level, so be mindful of that. So look around anywhere you can. Actually, I know where the secret exit is. I just want to look around. See that? Look at that. Very obscure secret right there. <laughs> you gotta be looking around in levels like that for all sorts of things. Oh, and I should also mention, since you're playing... Oops, I shouldn't have done that. I need the uh, acorn to get the secret exit, but I suppose I can get another one later on. But uh, there's a little bit of difference in how you control. Luigi is a little bit... Um, slipperier in controls than Mario is. He also jumps higher and his jump is a little more floaty. And you can collect stuff with uh, shells as you've seen there as I knock the shell into it. So be, uh, keep that in mind for if there's any coins that seem out of reach. Get out of my way! Arr! Get! Stop it! No bad Koopas and enemies and stuff and uh, if I had the waddling uh, acorn power up I'd be able to go all the way across there, but I stupidly grabbed the fire flower. But well, that's okay, I'm gonna have to come through this level again anyway. You'll see why when I go for the uh, secret exit. Oh, uh, a thing that I should mention about this game, which I think is a nice touch, is that you can find Luigi's hidden like this. I should say a Luigi 
hidden on every single level of the game. While it's not required to find every Luigi in here, they're just there to be there, like a little fun Easter egg for people to find. You don't have to find them all, they're just there. So if I come across them, I'll show you. If I don't, I don't. It's just uh, it's just in the spirit of those things, so to speak, I guess you could say. Mm, I'm not done with this level just yet. Uh-oh. Cutscene. Oh no! The castle has been taken over! This can't be good. And there's nothing there right now. I need I need an acorn. I need an acorn. That would be a very nice thing. Thank you. Nope, nope. Bad, bad, thank you. <laughs> and I had to complete the level to make sure that I saved my power up. So yeah, I just cut ahead there. No big deal, because you already seen that before. Now the reason why I need to keep the power up for level 1-2 is because, as I showed you, I need it at the end. Now, I already did the uh, regular exit, so I don't have to show that again. But there is a secret exit combined with a coin on the other side of this level, and it's in a rather diabolical position, and I'm going to cheat a little. <laughs> if you take a hit, but don't save, you can actually save your power up. I should say, if you take a hit and don't die, and you quit the level, you can save the power up that you had when you entered the level. It's kind of cheaty in a way, I guess you could say, but I don't know. I mean, the, the way that they design certain stuff in certain games, it kind of makes you wonder if the... Uh, they design that sort of thing because it's well known by now that you can do that in some games. So I would think that they would make a uh, workaround for that, you know, like by, by making it so you have to have the power through the whole level and you can't take hits because it'll save it along the way. And some games, do, some games do that. So it's it's definitely very well known. <laughs> Anyway, here's the last star coin. So, I mean, what I'm saying is that if they didn't want you to do that, they wouldn't really um, uh, have that in the game, so to speak. You know, they wouldn't let you do that. But anyway, ground pound here. You, yeah, you jump up in the air and you press down. You'll do a ground pound. You'll find this secret here. Oops. And... It leads over to the secret exit. Yeah, this is a totally different place here. And yeah, there's a one up there. Woo! Secret exits are marked by red flag poles. Or I should say red flag pole tops and red flags in general. Woo! So, it's two levels 100%ed so far. And this leads to... This is a pretty long path, by the way. I wonder if I should do this level now or save it for later. I guess I could do this level now. It just leads to a really, really big shortcut. But uh, I'm not going to take the shortcut to go to the level that it leads to. All I want to do is beat the level. This is Cheap Chomp Chase at Acorn Plains dash Cheap Cheap. Yeah, it's actually marked by a Cheap Cheap symbol. I think that's a nice little touch there. Uh, don't, she's got in my way. Obviously, I'm supposed to go inside the red pipe, but I just want to see if there's anything around there. And we are going to be chased by a Cheap Chomp. It's coming. It's coming. Wait, where is it actually? I need... Oh, there you are. The reason why I want, want it to be behind me is because I want... Well, first I want this. Uh, but I can kill it off, first of all, with the fireballs. But why I want this open here is because there is a secret star coin, which is being blown around with the currents and... The cheap chomp will eventually return, so you gotta keep killing it off, or you can leave it leave it behind you if you want to. There's a nice star here as well. No, 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 I'm, I'm not gonna waste my star time. Well, I kind of wasted my star time. The star makes you invincible, which allows you to just run into things that kill them. Pretty dang handy, if I do say so myself. Uh, uh, red rings, when you find one, you can follow the coin trail and... If you get all the red coins, you will get something out of it. Whatever that something is depends. It seems it, it seems like it varies, so it's not really a, a sure thing. I would like that fireball because I'm being ch chased. And by the way, if you get eaten, that's a one-hit kill. No, no, my coin, my coin. No, how dare you do this to me? How dare you do this to me? Oh, I'll just go to the 
exit. I'm running low on time anyway. There is a, another coin location uh, in that level, but I just didn't really have enough time for it because of the frantic nature of this level. There aren't any secret exits in this level, so it's not like I'm gonna have to search for them. It's just a matter of, I only had eight seconds left. <laughs> I didn't want to have to go back and get that first coin. That first coin in this level is a, a real time burner. I think that's the way they designed it. So that it would be very difficult to get all the coins on your first run through that level. So anyway. Yeah, this it just keeps going. Just keeps going. <laughs> this is all the way to world 5. You can actually look at the world map. So this isn't like a spoiler or anything like that. Like whenever you're whenever you're on the uh, world map, thank you for this handy tip. I know that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, 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 thank you. No, stop it. Stop harassing me. Yes, I will save though. You can you can harass me about that. <laughs> but if you look at the world map by pressing L here, you can go all the way around and zoom into places via the plus and minus buttons like so. So yeah, none of this that you see here is a spoiler whatsoever because they give you access to this right from the start. So let's just go back here and no, oh, I don't want to go do that. Why did I do that? I just kind of moved towards the path by instinct. All right, let's finish this level. No boxes getting in my way this time because I know it's there. All right, so you know the second coin is way up ahead. That That's a given. So I'm just going to go rush on ahead with the cheap chomp behind me no big deal it's just gonna keep following me it's re it's relatively fast too so you can't really lo lose it easily uh, just keep that in mind and keep make sure that you have a power up on hand so that you can get get rid of it but I want to go up no 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 I want to go up there no stop it there we go because this is where the final coin is hidden Woo! And grab stuff by holding the Y button while while pressing ZR and you can knock stuff down with a power block like so and this right here leads over where the other pipe led to at the end of the level yeah so it's actually behind the level it's a pretty nice touch oh and by the way uh, when you get to the top of the flight pole you get a one up but do I really need to tell you that this is like classic gaming knowledge here <laughs> I'm pretty sure you know how the flagpole works by now all right, let's go back to the regular levels. Well, actually, maybe I'll go over and show you what the mushroom houses in this game are like. I'm pretty sure you know how they're like. Maybe you've played New Super Mario Brothers. U. You gotta pick a block and watch out for the Bowser heads. As a matter of fact, just watch the Bowser. Don't watch the items. Just watch the Bowser and hit the boxes that are not the Bowser because there's less to keep track of then. <laughs> so anyway, that means this is safe. This is safe. Yay! Woo! Oh yeah! Got a 1-up plus a star in my inventory. The stars are pretty handy uh, for Nabbit chases, which I'm going to have to do for 100%. Uh, in fact, the Nabbit chase should happen soon enough. But yeah, you can press the B button to check your items when on the world map. Anyway, let's go to the first tower, Acorn Plains Tower, Flame Gear Tower. A lot of towers in that one sentence. Another short 100 second level. <laughs> 100 second level of doom. I'm going to run into the first burner that I see just because. Just because I'm special like that. Mm, there we go. Wall kick by holding the direction against the wall and then pressing the jump button. Keep that in mind for certain star coins later on. It's very handy. Ah, handy. And whoop, and whoop. Always make sure you've got some sort of power up if you can, because you're much much safer that way. Because you have a hit, so if you don't die to one hit or anything like that. All right. Oh, gee. <laughs> Why am I making so many mistakes in this castle? It's not a hard castle. It's platforming, side scrolling 101. <laughs> Dry bones here will recover after um, a little while, and as you've seen, there's a star coin up there. I must. There we go. That's what I was looking for. There's a, as I said, a lot of obscure secrets in this game. I gotta do a very finessey jump to get up there, oh, or find another coin block, and <laughs> that works too. That would help quite a bit, actually. And there we go. 
There's the last one. Don't worry about the time, because I know there's a boss, and you still have to get there before uh, the time runs out. Once you... No, no, no! Once you reach the boss, you will get 100 seconds added to the clock instantly. So, yeah. Got 20 seconds. 20 seconds! A lot of dry bones. A lot of secrets. Wow! And... Here we go. Watch the timer. See? Plus 100. That's... Really, really generous, considering how easy some of the bosses are. Like, watch this. Here's Boom Boom. Here's his, he, This is his attack, basically. That's all he does. He just flails his arms and runs around. You just jump on him. <laughs> you can't jump on him when he's like that, because his shell is in your way and his shell is spiky. But you can quite literally uh, jump on him as he's recovering, and... Yeah, it's just so easy. <laughs> If I didn't have the extra time there, I would have had... I would have been over by two seconds. Because, you know, they gave me a hundred seconds. But, uh... Yeah, that, that was still... Way, way too easy. <laughs> and there we go. Yes, I will save. And sometimes you'll find items on the map that you can pick up, like the this acorn, which goes into your item screen. You can only hold up to ten items at a time. Um... You know what, I think I'm going to end off the part here. I did four levels, all relatively short, got the intro stuff all explained. So with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.